So on days where I have a ton of patients, I usually eat my lunch in the car. Luckily today, there's a nice rainstorm, so it's kind of relaxing. And I'm just eating a salad that I made this morning. It has greens in it, pumpkin seeds, black olives, a can of sardines. Don't knock it till you try it. Um, <clears throat> and then a homemade uh, red wine vinaigrette that I made this morning. It's really good. I also have a piece of string cheese for some extra protein. And some cherries because those are like in season right now and delicious. Really good. So sardines are super healthy. They are low in mercury but high in omega-3s and just one can. I think it's like 18 grams of protein. So just really easy protein that keeps me full um, until dinner time. And it's really not that fishy. If you like tuna, I think that you'll probably like sardines. Mm. And homemade dressing, always the best. This took seven minutes to put together this morning. And it's healthy for my body and affordable. So sometimes my first meal of the day is actually in the car <laughs> if I have a really do busy day with patients because I see people in their homes, um, <clears throat> which means driving all over the place. So today that looked like I was short on time this morning. I just made hard boiled eggs while I was putting on my makeup and doing my hair this morning. So I just grabbed those and had those at about 11 o'clock. That's when I got hungry. Some days I do intermittent fasting and I just break my fast whenever I get hungry or or have the time. And today that was at 11. Now it is pretty late lunch. It's like 1.40, um, but that's just when lunch fit into my day. <laughs> okay, and then I'll see you back at my place after my last patient. Just finished a workout, done with patients for the day. A little wet because it's raining outside. So that caught in the rain and I'm hungry. It's not quite dinner time, and I had like definitely a lighter breakfast today um, just because I was so busy this morning, just two eggs. So, still trying to hit a good amount of protein for me. So, I'm gonna make a little smoothie um, before dinner. Okay, so what I'm gonna use, I don't always use Greek yogurt, but I want the protein. So, plain Greek yogurt, really good source of protein. And lately I buy the 2%, but sometimes I buy the 0%. Depends on like how much fat I get um, per day. Sometimes I have both in the fridge. I really like this protein powder, uh, Be Well by Kelly. She's a fantastic nutritionist in Southern California. This is the vanilla and I have one scoop left at least. So I'll have to get more or try a different one. I like this one because it has just a couple ingredients it's not sponsored by the way. Um, and the sweetener is monk fruit and it's beef protein isolate and vanilla bean powder. So it's three ingredients, um, tastes really good. I like vanilla. If I'm in the mood for chocolate, I always just add like cacao powder or something like that. Um, but we're gonna use that. And then I saw on the internet, someone put like a whole orange, peeled it in to make it kind of like a creamsicle. So I think that sounds pretty good. I'll use, a third of a frozen banana, and then I have some coconut water for some extra electrolytes because it's hot today. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so I usually use frozen bananas, which makes it super creamy, but of course I don't have any fridge today. So we're gonna make do with a third of a at room temp banana. So I put some ice cubes in place. It doesn't turn out the same. So um, if you have kind of old bananas that you don't know what to do with, cut them in thirds, throw them in the freezer, and they make really good um, kind of ice cubes for smoothies. So I really like that. Okay, so we're gonna put, I'm gonna eyeball it here. About a half cup of this 2% plain Greek yogurt, no sugar added. We'll get sugar or sweetness from the banana. The protein powder, which has monk fruit in it, and then the orange. Really curious how this is gonna turn out with 
full orange. When I was a kid, I really liked those like orange Julius drinks. Who knows what's in those? So um, I'm gonna try to recreate it. Or like a creamsicle. So I have that full orange and then a scoop of protein powder. pour the rest in it's about one full scoop all right a little bit of coconut water just for some electrolytes and i like the taste of coconut okay so it looks pretty good there's actually a lot of it so okay let's give it a try mm. wow it tastes a lot like that orange Julius that I liked as a kid. Mmm. But better. Okay, cool. And lots of protein in this. I love it. So I know on the orange in this, definitely use the full orange instead of orange juice. Because orange juice is basically just pure sugar. And we want that fiber from that orange. And there's obviously going to be a lot less sugar in one orange than like however much orange juice you're using. Mmm. And I think the fiber from the orange gives it some, some good body too. Okay, I'll be making this more often. You should totally give it a try. I'm using this tortilla soup broth, um, but apparently it was like the last one at the store. I'm not sure if they're stocking it again. This could easily be made on your own. I usually have some sort of stock homemade in the freezer or the fridge. Um, this one has ancho chili powder base, usual suspects of like garlic powder, lime juice, paprika, etc. So probably will give it some good flavor, but. It honestly would be just as good with regular old beef broth, chicken broth, or whatever homemade variety you have. That home already. Oh, it smells really good though. It's gonna be really good for this rainy day. Okay, the soup is at a little simmer. I'm gonna add this corn that I just cut off a cob. I'm not a huge corn fan, but I think it's good in the setting of like a tortilla soup sometimes. It's summer. So fresh. I'm gonna heat this through. Let's taste it without burning the mouth. Mmm. It's delicious. Okay, I have some cilantro. Okay, and then I found this cheese in the cheddar section of the grocery store. It looks kind of nice and new and, hmm. New to me. Let's give it a try. So some type of cheddar here to top the soup. It'll make it taste better and add a little bit more protein. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. Tastes like a fancy cheddar. A sophisticated cheddar. It was on sale and I wanted to give it a try. So for the tortilla part of this tortilla soup, uh, the brand Siete um, just came out with corn tortilla chips that are made with avocado oil. I've been looking for something like this for years. 
Siete, and this is their lime one. So I will use just a couple of these in my soup. Mm. They taste delicious. They did a really good job. They also have um, the grain-free tortilla chips, um, but these taste more like a traditional tortilla chip. And I haven't made a ton of carbs today, so I'm happy about sprinkling these on the soup. Okay, this looks pretty darn good. It smells amazing. Okay, time to try this soup. That's a good healthy protein from a flank steak that I got. And super comforting. Mmm, really good. Came together in less than 20 minutes, which is great for a busy work day. And there's lots of leftovers. I'm used to chicken tortilla soup, but I'm really digging the beef tortilla soup. And the broth I used was definitely some sort of beef broth, or had some sort of beef broth in its base. Highly recommend. All right, so my goal is about 30 grams of protein. And I typically eat three meals a day. Today was kind of an unusual day because I started with those just two hard boiled eggs. This morning, so I was really busy. But coming close to 90 grams of protein, pretty happy about that for a really busy weekday. Hope this was helpful to see an example of what about 30 grams of protein looks like for roughly three meals a day to help support good muscle building. Keep you full and really delicious. So a good rule of thumb, if you're wondering how much protein you should be eating in a day, I use the one gram per pound of ideal body weight. So just for simple math, let's say your ideal body weight is 100 pounds. That's really light, I'm not suggesting that. But again, for simple math, that would be about 100 grams a day. So if you're eating three meals a day, that's roughly about 30 grams, um, a little bit more than 30 grams of protein um, at each meal. I will say this, on the days that I'm really hitting that goal of one gram per pound of ideal body weight, I'm not snacking because I'm full and I'm really satisfied. I sleep better because I'm not like hungry at night and it really helps support weight loss goals for me or could support your weight loss goal if that is something that you're working on because when we're full and satisfied we're less likely to reach for those foods that are probably not that great for us if you found this helpful please hit like and subscribe it helps my channel grow which i really appreciate so i can keep producing this kind of content to help people eat healthier and live a healthier life